everyone, it's Randy. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I took part one boards. So actually when I posted this picture on my Instagram with all those books from the first year and a third of chiropractic school, well, not even all the books, those are just my notes, well, half of my notes, but whatever, that's besides the point. People were asking me to actually make a video of sharing my experience with part one boards. So the funny thing is, I had this cute idea when I woke up on Sunday, the day I was gonna take boards, that I was going to make a vlog type video of boards. And um, I never finished it. <laughs> I only did part of the video from the beginning of boards. So I'll go ahead and add those two clips in now so you can see how I was feeling about the beginning of boards. And then I'll go ahead and jump in and recap boards. Okay. So I am taking part one of boards today and I'm super excited. Honestly, I'm not even nervous. I don't, I just feel like I've studied so much that what I know I know, what I don't, I just wasn't ever gonna know it, so it's okay. But first, I'm actually, I'm taking it at 1 p.m. and today is Sunday, so I am going to get breakfast from Whataburger and then I'm gonna go to church and then after church, I will then head straight to the testing center for board, so yeah. So I am all done with church and yes, I did an outfit change because I am about to take boards now. I just pulled up to my school where I will be taking the tests and I'm still not nervous, which is crazy, but it does make me feel better because it just makes me feel like I did prepare. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in there and get to boards part one. Okay, so obviously that is exactly how I was feeling before boards started. So let me go ahead and just give a little background on boards. No, let me go ahead and talk about how I felt after boards. So after boards, I totally felt just the same as I did when I went into boards. There were, I think six sections, there are six sections total and only one of the sections I was a little nervous about. But other than that, I really was super excited with how it went and all of my friends, we hung out. We enjoyed just getting to be down the boards and it was right around the time where it was right before we had to finish finals for try five. So we just got to take that weekend or that day to just enjoy it and just be super excited that we were done with boards. So in regards to part one boards, let me just break this down. There are six sections. One, the first section is general anatomy. Uh, the second section is spinal anatomy. And then you have, let's see what was next. I'm not 100% sure if this was exactly next, but we'll see. Then we had physiology. We also had, mm, don't know which one was next, either chemistry and then pathology and then microbiology. So each section has 50 questions. So you had a total of 300 questions. You're able to take a 15 minute break after you complete two sections. I didn't take any breaks just because it was only 50 questions per section. So you finished those 50 questions rather, it wasn't really that long. You had, I think 45 minutes to take each section. So, but you didn't, I didn't use the whole 45 minutes. And by the time I was done with one section and moved on to the next one, it's like you get a refresher because it's a completely new test. It's not like taking the SAT where you're reading over and over again or math problems over and over again or whatever like that. It's actually, I'm just, oh, I'm talking about anatomy. It's like, oh, now I'm talking about pathology. So it's just completely different. So I really enjoyed it. So I didn't need to take any breaks just because I had, I just felt fresh. People did take breaks and there wasn't really any difference between if you took a break or if you didn't, it was just personal preference. But you're able to take breaks and you take them all on a computer. So at a testing center, you take them all on the computer and you just click submit and they all go through. You do not get your scores back for about four weeks. So I'm making this video today and I still don't have my scores back. And this is my fourth week since I've taken boards. So we're still waiting for the results, but I'm feeling very good about them, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, in terms of studying for the boards, I spent about two weeks studying, and I just planned it out to where I would focus on one, one subject a day, and then I would just rotate through, and then by the time it was the week before boards, that's when I was doing like practice problems and looking at practice questions and I would go back and really focus on those concepts that I didn't feel that good about. So other than that, I mean, for general anatomy, which is kind of crazy because for general anatomy, it was 50, 50 questions over two, well, three, 
classes that I took during my time at TCC. General well, anatomy one, anatomy two, and then neuroanatomy was sprinkled in there also. For spinal anatomy, it was over essentially like two, two sections or two classes that I took at TCC. I took spinal anatomy during try one, and then also neuroanatomy was sprinkled in there. And then for physiology, that was over, I think our, yeah, our physiology was broken down into three classes. So there was neurophys, cardiovascular phys, muscle physiology, there was uh, renal physiology, oh, there's so, respiratory physiology, exercise physiology. There was a lot of different phys um, sections that compromised that one, uh, not compromise, <laughs> that made that 150 question test. And then for pathology, we took three path courses. It was general pathology, systems path one, systems path two. For chemistry, we took biochemistry and metabolism at my school. And then I think microbiology is the last one and microbiology was its own course. Now out of the six, for me, the hardest was microbiology. I think just because micro is, that's just straight memorization. And it's not, it's not the type of memorization that's like anatomy. For me, I mean, you go into chiropractic because you love, oh, hey bear. You go into chiropractic because you love the body. You love anatomy, you love physique, like you just love the way the body works. So anatomy was easier for me to want to learn, so to say, and want to memorize because it was about the body. For micro, it's like, okay, these bacteria and the little organisms and stuff, like I understand that they can do X, Y, and Z and they look like X, Y, and Z, but that's it. I don't, I don't really care about these organisms. So micro was harder for me just because I wasn't as passionate about the subject. All the other tests were super simple. They ask very, the questions are all recall questions. So there aren't really anything that you have to like second hand, like I think if they're second order questions, they're not like that. They're just a question and then A, B, C, D. And a lot of the questions were very straightforward. They weren't trying to trip you up. There were a couple where you could tell that it just wasn't written clear, but you're able to write a note to that question if you feel like it's not written clear. So that really wasn't that bad. I honestly was definitely, I was very shocked that the test went as smooth as it did just because it, it was the biggest test. Definitely is, was, or whatever, the biggest test that I've taken to this date. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be serious, but it definitely was way more simple, way, way, way more simple than I thought. So, other than that, I mean, that was just part one boards. There's nothing, I think if I could go back and do anything different, it would probably be after I would finish a trimester because the, the test was over classes we took try one through try four. And we took it at the end, or at, right at the end of try five. So you can see how that's been a long, it's been a long time since you've looked at other things. One thing that I have done is that I am a tutor. I started tutoring in Tri-3, so that helped me to always review what was going on in previous tries. So that was really good. But another thing I think I would have done different was that after I'd finished a try, I probably would have reviewed. Just sprinkle in a little bit of review, maybe a week before the next try started, just to keep it fresh. So that would have been helpful. I think I just, really I should have done that with microbiology because Micro, taking a class, it's like you're memorizing, 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 but micro doesn't come up again. So it's not like you have to apply micro somewhere else. So that was the only thing. But yeah, I mean, that was everything, of course. Like I can answer more questions or if you wanna know more about the test, I can go ahead and drop the link below where it has the little NBCE website for those that are about to take boards or whatever. So you can see their test plan and the blueprint and how they have everything. Um, actually laid out and like they tell you that this test has 20% of this, 15% of this. So it really helps with studying. So yeah, uh, I think that's really it. And as always, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Goodbye.